Hey friends, welcome into my Makeup Love Office. Today's tutorial is going to be a smoky eye look with a tiny bit of a cat eye. Not real dramatic like you probably see on a lot of the younger gals today, but a more modified version for a woman of my age. So let's get started. Let's get the hair pulled back. I'm going to use scotch tape. I don't know if you've ever seen this little hack before, but I'm gonna give this a try today. I'm gonna to take the scotch tape, I'm gonna put it right here at the corner of my eye, and that's gonna give me a bit of a guideline for my eyeliner. Now, I've already got eyeshadow and mascara on from something I was doing earlier, so I'm gonna go back now and I'm gonna make some adjustments to it for my smoky eye look. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to take this new Tattoo Gel Pencil Eyeliner and I'm going to use that under my lower lashes and I'm just going to lightly dash that on there. I don't want it to be very heavy. I just don't want my eyes to look unbalanced. There we go. And then I'm gonna be using what I call this silver gray on top. Um, I've heard a lot of gals online calling it teal. Um, and I guess if you look at it, it does kind of look teal, but when I put it on, to me, it looks more silvery gray. So call it what you want. I love it no matter what. All right, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go right along the edge of this tape now. And that's gonna help me get my line going. And there we go. There you can see my little bitty cat eye. And then I'm just gonna draw a bit of a triangle over there, okay? Do the same thing over here. Let me move that so you can see it. Right along the tape, right there. Peel that off so you can see that. Go back and make that just a little bit darker. And then I'm also going to Oh, sorry. I always do that. I'm going to there. What I call triangle it out. So bring it across that way. Okay, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to dash a little bit of a line going across to meet up with that. I like to do little dash lines and then kind of go back and connect them. I find that a little bit easier to do. There we go. Okay, I've got that on both sides. Now I have this eyeshadow that I'm wearing. It's kind of a bronze color. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that color with a tapered brush. And I'm gonna add that right there along that little cat eye just to make it a little bit more intense there. See how I did that? Okay, let's do the same thing over here, if I can do this. And yeah, there we go. So you can see me do it. Well, I can see what I'm doing. And it helps if you're not holding a small mirror, if you're looking in a mirror, because then you could stretch that skin out. I've got so many little, um, you know, folds and wrinkles right in there that makes it a little difficult to do one-handed. My suggestion would be to hold that skin out and do it like that. It's just hard for me to do. Also being a little bit 
farsighted, I can't see what I'm doing without the mirror. All right, and we are gonna call that our look. So, if you've not tried this little hack using some plain old office scotch tape, give it a try. See if that helps you get that little bit of a cat eye. I really like using this little bit of a cat eye without black. Notice that I use the silver, gray, teal, whatever you want to call it, instead of the black because I think the black looks so harsh. And when you've got a lot of wrinkling around the eyes, a lot of crepiness, a lot of folds around the eyes because of our age, I think that black just draws attention to those creases instead of looking nice and, you know, natural. Um, so I don't like to use the black. I think the gray is a much better choice. I think I might bring, I think I might bring that gray down just a hair. There we go, I like that better. Just a touch. All right, my friends. So if you've not tried this, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Come back in the comments and tell me if it worked for you. Even better, send me a selfie so I can see it. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a like and a share. Hit that bell so you know the next time I have a new video out. And until next time, see ya.